Have you ever encountered a door forcefully closed in your face only to realize later that it was perhaps the best outcome imaginable? Today we embark on a profound exploration into the skill of reversing rejection, inspired by none other than the Stoic philosopher, Marcus Aurelius. Picture a world where every no doesn't discourage you, but instead propels you forward rejection. A word often associated with pain can actually serve as a stepping stone toward greatness. It's not about outsmarting fate, but rather comprehending that sometimes the universe's rejection is a disguised invitation to something greater. Do you ever feel unnoticed, disregarded, or underappreciated? It's time to rewrite the narrative. In this discourse, we will dissect 13 profound lessons designed to help you harness the power of rejection. These are not mere theoretical musings. They are actionable strategies grounded in real-life experiences. Before delving into the lessons, let's ensure that this wisdom reaches as many souls as possible. Please take a moment to engage by hitting the like button and ringing the notification bell. Your interaction signals to YouTube that you find value in our shared insights. Now let's embark on this transformative journey together, poised to turn rejections into our most triumphant victories. 1. Disregard them too. 1. Disregard them too. When life serves you the cold shoulder of indifference, don't shrink in response, rise above it. Ignoring those who ignore you isn't an act of pettiness, rather. It's a powerful affirmation of your self-worth. Consider this if someone deems you unworthy of their time. It's their loss, not yours, by choosing not to engage. You're essentially stating, I am deserving of more. It's akin to reflecting a mirror back at them, revealing their behavior while remaining unaffected. But how do you accomplish this without succumbing to bitterness? Simply divert your focus to your own life goals and happiness. Engage in activities that enrich your being, whether it's reading sports, learning new skills, or enjoying the company of those who genuinely value you. It's about using the sting of rejection as fuel for personal growth, constructing a fortress of self-respect that deflects indifference. This approach isn't merely about serving rejection. It's about thriving desperate eat. It showcases emotional maturity and denial strength, reinforcing the notion that your value isn't contingent upon someone else's recognition. Stay authentic and let your actions resonate louder than their silence. Two. Don't react emotionally. 2. Don't react emotionally. Rejection can sting, tempting you to react impulsively. However, Stoicism offers a different perspective instead of succumbing to frustration or sadness. Embrace compulsory. When brush it off, resist the order to seek validation or express resentment. Stoicism teaches us to embrace your compost thoughtful response. It's not about suppressing emotions, but rather mastering them. When ignored, Take a step back and introspect often. It's not the rejection itself, but our insecurities that wound us the most. Focus on your actions and responses, not on others' behaviors. Maintain politeness and kindness, even if you feel like reaching out. Let your responses be genuine, devoid of expectations. This approach signifies not positivity, but emotional mastery. It's about realizing that your self-worth isn't contingent upon others' approval but rather on how you choose to respond to rejection. Mastering calmness in the face of rejection isn't just about coping. It's about thriving. It's a journey towards self-confidence where external validation holds no sway by embodying this mindset. You exude strength and resilience qualities inherently attractive to others. 3. Remove them from your mind. 3. Remove them from your mind. When confronted with rejection, Mastering the art of detachment becomes an invaluable asset. Acknowledge the rejection's impact without allowing it to consume your thoughts rather than viewing rejection as a roadblock. Perceive it as a detour sign, guiding you toward new opportunities. Channel the experience into transformative energy, navigating rough seas with skill and grace. Engage in activities that enrich your spirit and broaden your horizons embracing each new experience as a stepping stone towards self-discovery. Cultivate a circle of positivity surrounding yourself with individuals who uplift and inspire you. Such interactions foster mutual growth, reaffirming that rejection doesn't define your worth, but serves as an invitation to rediscover and reinvent yourself. 
With each new endeavor, you carve out a stronger, more resilient version of yourself, equipped to face life's challenges with unwavering resolve. 4. Demonstrate your value. 4. Demonstrate your value, rather than succumbing to the weight of rejection, view it as an opportunity to showcase your resilience. When sidelined or overlooked, redirect your energy toward constructive action. Highlight your skills through meaningful projects and initiatives undeterred by others' oversight. Recognize that rejection isn't a reflection of your worth but a redirection toward opportunities that align more closely with your talents and passions. Embrace setbacks as setups for comebacks weaving a success story defined by perseverance and determination. By embodying empathy and understanding, you emerge from rejection stronger and wiser, poised to rise from the ashes with renewed vigor. Rejection isn't the end of your narrative. It's a pivotal chapter in your journey toward personal growth and fulfillment. 5. Cut off contact. 5. Cut off contact. In the face of rejection, silence becomes a potent tool in your emotional arsenal. Rather than succumbing to the urge to reach out or reconcile, embrace the power of silence view. This period of no contact is a strategic reset, reaffirming your self-worth and prioritizing your mental peace. By maintaining emotional distance, you assert your value and resilience signaling that your well-being isn't contingent upon external validation. Your silence isn't passive. It's an active declaration of self-respect and self assurance While it may not elicit a change in others' behavior, it catalyzes profound transformation within yourself, fortifying your resolve and preparing you for whatever challenges lie ahead. 6. Prove them wrong, 6. Prove them wrong. The art of leveraging rejection isn't merely about disproving others' doubts, but reaffirming your own potential. Transform no into fuel for growth. Committing yourself to surpassing perceived limitations. Devote yourself to honing your skills and capabilities not for external validation, but for personal fulfillment. Let your actions speak volumes silently demonstrating your competence and determination. While you need not announce your progress, let your achievements speak for themselves. Your journey of self-improvement isn't a battle against others' perceptions but a testament to your unwavering commitment to excellence by redefining your self-image and understanding your true capabilities. You emerge from rejection stronger and more self-assured than ever before. 7. Go out and have fun. 7. Go out and have fun. Amidst rejection, embracing joy becomes a radical act of resilience rather than retreating into isolation. Deliberately seek out experiences that bring you happiness and fulfillment. Challenge the notion that rejection should dampen your spirits by actively pursuing moments of joy and connection. Engage in activities that ignite your passion and foster meaningful connections with others. Embrace the unknown viewing rejection not as a closed door, but an invitation to explore new horizons. Each new experience enriches your life, reinforcing the resilience and adaptability that define your journey through shared laughter and shared experiences. You rediscover your place in the world, reaffirming that rejection is but a fleeting obstacle on the path to greater fulfillment. 8. Build your social status. 8. Build your social status. Stoicism teaches us to turn rejection into an opportunity for personal growth and community engagement. Instead of seeking validation, focus on self improvement and meaningful connections with others. View activities like physical fitness and community involvement as opportunities to enhance your well-being and contribute to the greater good. Cultivate relationships based on mutual respect and shared values. Weaving a tapestry of meaningful connections your journey toward self-discovery isn't about climbing a social ladder, but ascending your own path toward personal excellence by aligning your intentions with the pursuit of self-improvement. You inspire others to do the same fostering a community built on resilience and empathy. 9. Act as if they don't exist. Act as if they don't exist. In the face of indifference, the most powerful response is often one of quiet strength rather than expending energy on those who overlook you. Redirect your focus toward those who value your presence. 
maintain professionalism and civility in unavoidable interactions, but refrain from investing emotional energy in one-sided relationships by prioritizing your well-being and pursuing meaningful connections. You signal that your time and attention are valuable commodities. Choosing not to engage in futile endeavors isn't a sign of weakness but a demonstration of self-respect and discernment. Embrace the power of walking away, recognizing that your energy is better spent on relationships and endeavors that nurture your growth and fulfillment. 10. Give them the silent treatment. Opting for silence in the face of indifference is a testament to your dignity and self-respect. Rather than seeking validation or retaliation, choose to preserve your inner peace through deliberate introspection and emotional mastery. Embrace moments of silence as opportunities for self-reflection and personal growth. Use this time to reaffirm your values, strengthen your character, and align your actions with your principles. Silence isn't a sign of weakness but a demonstration of inner strength and composure. By choosing not to respond, you assert your autonomy and refuse to be drawn into fruitless exchanges. Ultimately, silence becomes a powerful tool for maintaining emotional equilibrium and fostering authentic self-expression. It's a reminder that your worth isn't contingent on external validation, but rooted in your inherent dignity and self-awareness. 11. Don't beg for attention. Stoicism teaches us to anchor ourselves in our own self-worth, independent of others' perceptions, rather than seeking validation through external approval. Cultivate a sense of inner fulfillment through personal growth and self-discovery. Engage in activities that resonate with your passions and values, prioritizing authenticity over fleeting attention. Your journey of self-improvement isn't about proving others wrong, but embracing your unique strengths and aspirations. Resist the temptation to perform for others' approval, recognizing that true confidence arises from within. By focusing on your personal development and well-being, you redefine success on your own terms, free from the constraints of external validation. 12. Be kind, but emotionally distant. In navigating indifference, choose kindness as a guiding principle, while maintaining emotional boundaries. Treat others with respect and compassion even in the face of disregard, but guard your inner peace and emotional well-being. Embrace emotional distance as a means of self-preservation and integrity, refusing to be defined by others' actions or attitudes by extending kindness without expectation. You demonstrate strength of character and self-assurance. Remember that emotional distance isn't synonymous with detachment or apathy, but a conscious choice to prioritize your mental and emotional health. It's a delicate balance of empathy and self-preservation, rooted in the wisdom of Stoic principles. 13. Don't reveal your struggle. Resist the urge to broadcast your struggles or seek validation through external acknowledgement. Instead, maintain your composure and dignity in the face of adversity. Embodying the principles of Stoic resilience, acknowledge your emotions without allowing them to dictate your behavior or undermine your self-confidence by navigating rejection with grace and poise you affirm your inner strength and resilience. Embrace the Stoic philosophy of emotional resilience, recognizing that true power lies in maintaining integrity and self-respect. Amidst life's challenges, your response to rejection is a reflection of your inner fortitude and unwavering commitment to personal growth. The Stoics also knew that rejection was a part of life they also practiced and prepared and knew that this is a potential outcome. A Stoic is never naive to hope for things that are outside of their control. They have rehearsed mentally the worst-case scenario, so how a situation can unfold contrary to their expectations and are at peace with whatever happens. This then is the momentary response to a situation, not surprised by it, not too emotionally agitated. For instance, Seneca would begin each day by reviewing or rehearsing his plans, say, to take a trip, and then in his head he would go over the things that could go wrong or prevent it from happening. A storm could arise, the captain could fall ill, the ship could be attacked by pirates, Nothing happens to the wise man against his expectation, he wrote to a friend. Nor do all things turn out for him as he wished but as he reckoned, and above all, 
he reckoned that something could block his plans. By doing this exercise, Seneca was always prepared for disruption and always working that disruption into his plans. He was fitted for defeat or victory, and let's be honest, a pleasant surprise is a lot better than an unpleasant one. Conclusion In conclusion, the art of leveraging rejection is a journey of self-discovery and resilience guided by the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. By embracing rejection as a catalyst for growth, you transform setbacks into opportunities and emerge stronger, wiser, and more self-assured. Stay Stoic.